My name is Lincoln Baxter, and I'm going to show you how to build an AngularJS application using JBoss Tools and JBoss Forge. I'm running Eclipse with JBoss Tools installed, and I'm going to press Ctrl-4 or Command-4 to bring up the JBoss Forge menu. We select New Project, enter the name of the project, and Finish. This has created a new Maven web application. Now we'll get started creating some functionality. Again, we'll bring up the Forge menu and create a new JPA entity. We're prompted to set up JPA for our target container, here the JBoss Enterprise Application Platform. We'll click Next, select our persistence unit, and now create our entity. This entity will be called Customer. The entity has been created, and we're ready to start adding fields. Again, Command-4 to bring up the Forge menu. Select JPA New Field, Customer Name, New Field, Customer Description, and now we'll create an address for our customers. JPA New Entity, add a name, Address, JPA New Field, Street, City, Zip. Now that we have some entities in our application, we're ready to create the Angular scaffold. Again, we press Command-4, Scaffold, Generate. We select the Angular scaffold, click Next, accept the defaults, select the entity model that we want to generate a user interface for, also generate the REST resources, and click Finish. As you can see, we now have REST endpoints for our customers. And we also have a web front end for our application. Let's deploy this and see what we've got. Here's our application. It's running. And we can create a new address or a new customer. There I am. Thank you for watching this demo. Now you know how easy it is to build and get started with an AngularJS application using JBoss Tools and JBoss Forge.